Hello, this is the AVIT department, Westminster United Church Computer Lab. Uh, in this lesson, I just wanted to show you an, um, an interesting application called Cheese. It's really for taking pictures uh, using a webcam. Uh, the computer lab here at Westminster does have a high definition webcam, which can be used for various things such as taking photographs, uh, stop motion photography, so on and so forth. Um, really not, uh, its strength is really not in taking videos, um, although it can be used for video conferencing. Um, if you wanted to take uh, high-end videos, uh, then I would recommend having the proper equipment for it. But certainly it's great for stop-motion photography, taking pictures, and um, supporting uh, the use of Skype in video conferencing applications, which will be dealt with in other YouTube videos. In order to launch the Cheese application um, from the Teacher menu, uh, although um, I'm showing this in the server. Um, any workstation here has the potential to use the, uh, the webcam, so if you can unplug it and plug it into the USB port of any of the, the uh, workstations, it'll work as well. Uh, in the main menu, you go to uh, s um, graphics. Uh, if not graphics, I guess it is sound and video. There it is. Yeah, I was the wrong menu. There's a lot of menu items here. Uh, sound and video, and you go to Cheese. And the Cheese application will open. And right now you're looking at the back of my head. Here's a picture of me. Actually, by looking at the back of my head, you're seeing how I'm actually uh, filming all of the YouTube videos. Uh, I'm looking at the big screen and uh, teaching you guys how to uh, use it. So, uh, so anyways, uh, there are three different uh, buttons that are here, take picture, take video, uh, take audio, or take multiple uh, photos. I'm just going to say take a photo. Uh, there are various options in Cheese uh, for preferences. Um, uh, this sets up sort of the, the basic uh, characteristics of the webcam. I would accept the default. Um, you do have some other options here like countdown. Uh, if you indicate countdown and flash it works really like a like an actual camera take a photo then you should start noticing it counts down three two one and it does the flash to indicate it's been done and there's a picture of me right there I could use that for further editing if I wish uh, if you're doing stuff like stop-motion photography um, you can change characteristics for example you probably won't you do, probably don't want a countdown probably don't want to flash and that way you can start taking uh, um, uh, quicker photos. If you notice uh, down below uh, the photos are going quicker which is great if you're doing stop-motion photography for example with Lego pieces and moving these things uh, allows you to do things quicker. Uh, there are other uh, things that you can do with the. I'll just put the, uh, these uh, options back in. Uh, there's other things that you can do, like uh, take effects. Um, you can take uh, weird uh, pictures, uh, uh, weird effects like warping. Uh, so, for example, if uh, I want to take a picture now, can have a really, really weird uh, effect, uh, like a distorted effect, if you wish. So for example, I don't know if you're noticing, it's getting a little bit uh, wobbly here. And if I do take a photo of myself now, three, two, one, picture. I did that probably, sorry. Three, two, one, picture. You may notice that uh, it can be a distorted view, so <laughs> whether it was taken or not. But um, just to show you that there are various ways in which you can um, do weird effects with your with the actual uh, webcam. Now uh, this is the AVIT department. Just wishing you happy volunteering and showing you yet another tool to help make your life easier. Remember that when you have form and function together, it makes art. So another way way of looking at it here, you're not being techies. You're not using a computer system. If you take control of what happens and uh, empower the tools that you use, it's simply making art. Have a good day.